Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and this is Elite Dangerous. Now today I want to show you something a little bit different and you can probably see immediately that the screen looks a little bit wiggly and distorted. And this is due to a feature that has just been revealed by a Frontier developer called Eddie Simmons on the Frontier forums. And what this does, it shows you the direct view of what a user is seeing on their Oculus Rift and you can see here the I'm looking at the bridge of a lake on type 9 and this is something you can't normally do with a traditional controller you can't rotate the camera far enough around and so you can see the bridge is actually quite large and that's something I'm looking forward to walking around eventually so this is a feature that Frontier were using on their booth at EGX and it allowed the elite ambassadors as well as the, as well as the public to see on a monitor what the player was seeing on the Oculus Rift. Now I'm playing this on a dev kit 1, a DK1. At EGX they were using a DK2 and they were also using a, a newer build of Elite. Ship and released. the build at EGX didn't have the a wide field of view distortion you're actually seeing here. It actually had a normal field of view. So this is something that may be fixed in the upcoming patch we're due to get tomorrow. But for now, it's actually much, much better than what we're used to seeing with Oculus Rift videos. Now I come bowling out the station there and I did hit something but before you guys shout at me I'm playing this solo so they're only NPCs what I want to do is just take a quick tour around the outside of the stations to give you guys an idea of what this looks like through the rift now obviously it doesn't convey the amazing 3D and sense of depth you get through the headset but what it does do is serve to show what the head tracking does and of course also if someone wants to do some playthroughs of the game they can stream what they're seeing through the rift on twitch or make some youtube videos as I've done here so I'm gonna fly along the structure of the station here I'm using a lake on type 9 and these ships are very heavy and quite slow and this sort of flying is something I'd normally do in a Viper or a Sidewinder. It's something I haven't yet done in this ship. So please excuse me if I do hit something. When using the DK1 headset, what you're seeing here will actually occupy between 80 to 90% of your real world field of view. So whilst you hear the word immersive banded around a lot in regards to the rift, it really is the only word that can accurately describe the experience. So you can see me just tracking... Oh, I've hit something. I had a feeling I might do that, but no damage done. I just need to back up a bit because I'm stuck here. There we go. So you can actually see I've looked up a little bit here and I'm looking through the top window of the Lake on 9. Now depending on the field of view that this video is actually capturing, it may not quite convey how far up I'm actually looking. Now I'm going to just try and slip between these blades here. I think I'm going to manage that okay. Yeah, I'm through. The size of these stations really is wonderful. I love, love station skimming. Fav one of my favourite pastimes when using the rift. So what I'm going to do is come up to the end here and go back in and dock again but I'm going to get some speed up first and switch flight assist off and just glide past the station and give you some view. So again another thing that's not always conveyed very accurately on these um, Oculus Rift videos and I don't know how this direct view video is going to convey it but when you turn your head up or down, or left or right, by a few degrees it doesn't always convey how far you've turned your head unless you've done something like looking far to the left like I have here there's another lake on 9 trying to dock 
that actually got pretty close. No, it actually got very close. So he is an NPC, like I said, I'm playing this solo. It actually makes recording this sort of video a lot easier. Uh, and I'm in two minds of whether to let him dock first. I mean, he's just an NPC, so what does it really matter? Let's go in. As long as I don't clip myself. We're through. So let's look for the landing pad. Now again, as you come into the station here, you really can see the sense of scale. And I'm hoping the video actually does show some of this. If Beta 2 can fix the uh, field of view distortion we've got here, the direct view capture from the Oculus Rift is going to be a fantastic boon to all YouTubers and Twitch streamers. So I'm just going to have another look up at the station here. I'm actually looking right up here, and now I'm looking right to the left. Due to the field of view distortion, when looking up and down, it doesn't always capture quite how far you're tipping your head. Again, I'm looking up quite a bit here. I'll have to see how that turns out in the final video. So there you go. That's a tour of the station with the new Oculus Rift Direct View feature that's been revealed by Frontier. I hope you enjoyed your flight. This has been Obsidian Ant Airways, signing off.